Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a Day of the Dead Senorita or Lady. One finger at the top in the center and put a dot. And from that dot we're going to draw a curve line down, little curve line in, curve line down and over. Come back to the dot, we're going to draw a curve line down, little curve line in, curve line out, down and connect. I come back to my dot and I'm going to go curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line down and now curve line, curve line up, connect. Come back over and now we're going to do the right hand side, curve line down, 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 curve line up, connect. Right about here on the bottom we're going to go one, two curve lines, one, two curved lines on the right. Come back over here on the right hand side and we're going to draw one curved line, connect, and right above it we're going to draw a wavy, 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 wavy line, connect. Now we're coming inside and we're going to draw a curved line down, up, connect on the left, curve line down, up, connect on the right. Come right down below and on the left we're going to draw a curve line down, up, connect on the left and a curve line down, up, connect on the right. Right below there starting on the left we draw a little curve line up, down, up and over. Come back to the left and we're going to draw a little straight line, curve line, straight line, connect. Come right here on the inside and we're going to draw a straight line across and then we're going to draw little straight lines going down on the top, little straight lines going down on the bottom. Okay? Come back to the top and on the left we're going to do a bunch of little straight lines going all the way up and around on the left and now we're going to do the same thing on the right, little straight lines up and around on the right. Now come down and right here in the middle we are going to draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line across. Come on the left hand side and draw a straight diagonal down on the left. Come over here on the right, draw a straight diagonal down on the right. Whoops, left, right. Come back to the left and we're going to do a little wavy line across, don't draw through it. And on the right a little wavy line across, connect. Now we're going to right about here we're going to draw another straight diagonal down on the left, straight diagonal down on the right, come back to the left, slightly wavy line across, connect. Come back to the left, little straight diagonal line down on the left, little straight line diagonal on the right, come back to the left and draw another wavy, wavy, wavy line, connect. Now we come in a little bit and draw one straight line on the left, one straight line on the right. Come back to the left and draw a slightly wavy, wavy, wavy line and then stop, leave it hanging because right now we're just going to draw a curved line, connect, and then a big slightly curved line over, up, connect, and another one right here at this point, slightly curved line out, in, connect. Come back to the left and we're going to draw a little straight line and then a wavy, wavy line to connect right there. Come back to the left again. Now we draw a straight diagonal down, wavy line over, straight diagonal up, connect. 
we come inside and we just mimic this line down here at the bottom. Connect. Now come back down on the bottom on the left and let's draw one curved line and draw that line again on the left. One curved line. Mimic that line and draw that line again on the right. Now come all the way back up here and we are going to draw straight diagonal out, slightly curved line in, straight diagonal up, connect on the left, come on the right hand side, straight diagonal out, slightly curved line in, straight diagonal up, connect. Right here we're going to draw a little curved line and now we're going to draw little rectangles. One, two, next one, one, two, three, next one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one. That's on the left. Now come over to the right. Curve line. Little one, two, connectors. One, two, three, come in the center, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two. Now, everybody's are going to be different because we all draw differently. Now, come back to the left and just draw straight lines to each one of those little spaces. Okay? All right. Now I'm going to come back up here and I'm just going to draw on the left, I'm just going to draw curve line, curve line, jump over, curve line, curve line. Alright, let me see if I've done everything. I think I have. Now, what I'm going to do since I have this out already, I'm just going to color this section on the left black, this section on the right black, this section right here, black, on the left, and on the right. You can come back in and just do a little bit on the middle part line um, of that space. I think that's all. We'll know once we, oh, I forgot something. Hello. Down here at the bottom, we're going to draw a wavy, 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 wavy line, baby circle. Wavy, wavy, wavy line, baby circle, wavy, wavy, wavy line, connect, baby circle, wavy, wavy, wavy line, baby circle, wavy, wavy, wavy line, connect, baby circle, and if you have room, wavy, wavy, little half circle. Now, I think we're ready to color. Okay, you can use any colors that you want. These are the ones that I chose. You can make your own decisions. This is this yellow gold I'm doing for the outside of my flowers. Down at the top and down here at the bottom. You can make these any color you want. Look how little this crayon is. I think I need a new one. Anyway, so you, I'm doing a yellow gold all the way around. Then I'm coming back in with a scarlet. So this could be red or scarlet. And now I'm going to color this section scarlet red. And these little sections on my side arms, these are going to be red. My sash is going to be scarlet red. Bring it all the way down. Uh, my inside of my baby circles for my flowers, these are all going to be scarlet red. And the inset of my shoes are going to be scarlet red. So I'm going to do all my big colors first. Then I come in with my details. This section of the collar is going to be turquoise blue. And then I come all the way down and I do the band around the flowers down here at the base. These are going to be turquoise blue. Now, again, like I said, these are the colors I chose. You can choose whatever colors you want. Okay, so those are your basic colors. The rest of this is black. 
But, oops, I forgot one more thing. You don't want to color, I forgot my little golden yellow on my braids. Okay. Now, a lot of this is going to be black, but I'm going to still take my time and color each section black. Because the way you put down your color is going to, even though it's all the same color, is going to make a difference on how it looks. So I'm going to do my sleeves black. I'm going to do this section of my band on my blouse black. I'm going to do this part of the dress black. I'm going to do this big section down here at the bottom black. And I'm going to do my shoes down here black. And again, like I said, you guys can choose your own colors. These are the ones that I chose. Okay, let's see what she looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my Day of the Dead Senorita, or lady, all ready for the festivities in November. Okay, bye-bye.